New at five, Memphis boosters can hardly contain themselves about the banner year they are expecting 2020 to be. As many as 4,000 jobs, not to mention some six dozen new projects already going up or in the pipeline. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is the only Memphis TV reporter to get the numbers, and he's live downtown right now to break it down for us. Brad. Well, Richard, if these projections hold true, they would be more than twice the number of new jobs announced in 2019. With projects like the One Beal Project rising behind me, economic leaders are confident that this present growth will catapult future growth. We think that this is an, an aggressive uh, projection. But is a projection the Memphis and Shelby County Regional Economic Alliance stand by? The group, with members from the Greater Memphis Chamber, Downtown Memphis Commission, and the Economic Development Group Edge, today announced their projection of 68 new announced projects and 3,800 new jobs in 2020 across Memphis. The community has momentum, and growth attracts growth. Today's 2020 projections came after the alliance exceeded their 2019 goals for new jobs and projects. The nearly 70 estimated new projects this year for Memphis include 20 industrial, 18 retail, 15 office, four mixed use, and three hotels. The three organizations have worked um, long and hard on these uh, to come into a public forum in front of our two mayors and make this commitment uh, we didn't do lightly. Downtown Memphis leaders believe the sights and sounds of active construction will play a major role in adding new activity around the sites. People are going to want to open stores and open restaurants and, and all the smaller stuff that comes along and really does create the jobs. Now, members of that economic alliance caution that these are projections of new announced jobs this year, which may still take one or three years to officially come online beyond this year. At 6, we'll take a look at what potential downtown development could go along the One Beal project rising behind me. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Brian Broder, Local 24 News. All right.